before we get to our keynote speaker, we have a couple of uh, important AAS awards to present. Uh, we have some very deserving recipients here today, uh, and so we'd like to honor them uh, at this time. Uh, our first award to present is the AAS Space Life Sciences Award. The AAS Space Life Sciences Award recognizes outstanding results in two broad categories of research. Results of space life sciences research on the ISS or elsewhere that benefit humanity overall, and discoveries of importance to conducting the human exploration of space. This year's AAS Space Life Sciences Award winners are Dr. Rob Farrell and Dr. Anna Lisa Paul. Dr. Robert Farrell and Dr. Annalisa Paul have worked as a team for 20 years to explore the limits of plant molecular biology in spaceflight and other exploration relevant environments. Their scientific contributions to the field of spaceflight biology have been visionary and, and prolific. They pioneered the use of plants engineered to be real-time GFP biological sensors of the spaceflight environment and also contributed to the development of the imaging hardware that enabled those experiments on the ISS. Therefore, today, Dr. Rob Farrell and Dr. Annalisa Paul, Annalisa Paul are recognized for their 20 years of seminal plant science research on the ISS and in exploration environments culminating in the first growth of plants in lunar regolith. Dr. Paul, Dr. Lisa, Dr. Paul and Dr. Farrell, please come on up. so much for this. I mean, this is, this is amazing to be recognized like this, and it's something that we have been working on for decades with this concept of, as biologists, when we leave Earth's orbit, we take biology with us. And so the more we can understand about how biology responds to these kind of novel environments, it's what allows us to be that kind of explorer so that, that can take our biology this way with us. And so this is a great kind of recognition and culmination of that kind of, uh, kind of effort and philosophy. Yeah, let me join Annalisa in, in thanking the society for the, the recognition, of course, um, to thank all you people for being interested in space. Uh, one of the things that our kind of work does is it tests the limits of where our biology can live in the universe. And since we're all biology, we learn about the limits of ourselves as human beings by doing studies sort of like what we do. Thank you for that. The other thing we wanted to mention is that uh, Glenn Research Center is a big part of the work that we've been able to do. And so we thank our friends from Glenn for doing a couple of things, in particular for thinking in innovative ways. Glenn is not a biological research center, but they've been brilliant at thinking beyond the limits of their design of the technology, not into what it was designed to do, but what it could do for science. And that's how they invited us as biologists to use their assets on the International Space Station, which made a huge difference in our world. So thank you to the Glenn people as well. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you thank you. Our next award uh, is the AAS Space Entrepreneurship Award. The Space Entrepreneurship Award recognizes the successful introduction of new technologies and production methods into the market by entrepreneurs. This year's AAS Space Entrepreneurship Award winner is Eric Ingram. Eric is the founder and CEO of Scout Inc. Scout Inc's first Scout Vision system was deployed on June 30, 2021 on the Orbit Fab Tenzing tanker. It was launched aboard the SpaceX Transporter 2 mission and is now in sun-synchronous orbit. 
Scout Vision's first deployment is a new and exciting step in autonomous spaceflight operations. The system's situational awareness capabilities enable Tenzing to detect, identify, and model observed objects it encounters in orbit. As Scout develops their Scout Vision system, they're working to add features for relative navigation and collision avoidance that reduce risk for operators like OrbitFab. Therefore, today, Eric Ingram is recognized for starting and managing a company of space professionals to deploy the first ever commercial space-based situational awareness system from concept to orbit in under nine months. Congratulations, Eric. Yes, thank you to uh, Anna Shapashnik, who I think uh, nominated me, and to the uh, Society for awarding this to me. For those who are not familiar with Scout, we're a company developing uh, space-based vision capabilities for looking at stuff in space from space. Um, proximity operations, relative navigation is part of it, but also working towards longer range things for uh, space domain awareness or space situation awareness, depending on where you sit in the government. And um, everywhere from LEO to CIS Lunar, and uh, as was mentioned with that first payload, we went from uh, computer drawing to hardware and space in less than nine months with only two full-time people at the time. So it was a pretty uh, exciting adventure that I never want to relive. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, we've been growing rapidly uh, and none of this would, would be possible without um, the team we've built up. So we have now we have 15 full-time employees um, a few contractors, and currently for the summer, seven interns. And so um, we have three more missions on Manifest in the next nine months, and it's, a, it's an exciting time to be in the space industry and to be developing technologies that are vital to uh, everything we're working on here. So thank you to you all for being here, thank you for the award, and thank you to the nominees, and especially thank you to the team at Scout for uh, making this happen.